uh, Clive Kinson, yes, uh, good morning. who is the sales manager worldwide for O. Oh, uh, are you having a good year, Clive? We're having a great year, uh, Dave. Uh, it's been uh, quite memorable for us. We're, uh, we've uh, probably been producing more this year than uh, uh, we have in, pr in previous years, bearing in mind the recession. And uh, we've got. Do you mean in terms of, of numbers of boxes? Numbers of boxes, yeah. yes. We're shipping quite large quantities out to the Far East because um, you know, everybody t talks about the China bubble bursting, but in terms of what they want to use themselves as consumers, especially for high quality installations, is they're, they're demanding the made in UK label. So we're shipping, uh, we're, we're, we're working up to shipping a container every two weeks out to China, and it's all the top, top, top of the range product. Uh, that's been great. Uh, other places in the, in the Far East are developing, countries like Vietnam and Cambodia, are sort of coming along and are perhaps like China was 10 years ago. Yeah. But they're just starting to get brand awareness. So we've been extremely busy. We've uh, had to extend our manufacturing facilities in the, up in Cheshire. Uh, we've had to make use of our manufacturing facilities in Poland. And we're both, both the factories are running at full capacity. Great. Now you've got some new products which you're showing at Plaza. Yeah. We've... Uh, uh, Really, at both ends of the scale, we've, we we uh, successfully launched a, a line array this year. This is the Ursa Major. This is the Ursa Major. Um, that we've shipped or, or uh, to several countries around the world. Uh, in the UK, uh, obviously, we have a, a challenge to get involved in the rental business. It's a busy market. It's a busy market, and people are committed. But we have done some uh, shows in the UK as sort of live demos with uh, uh, live events. And that is sort of developing on. Uh, to go with that, we have a range of subs, and we will be uh, announcing later in the year some modular amplifiers, which are tailor-made to go with this. Uh, You've got a little installation speaking. Yeah, the, the under the scale. We call it the boutique. And uh, as the name... You got that? Yeah, as the name suggests, it, uh, it's for shops, small businesses, uh, where... They want not just background sound, they want a reasonable sound presence. And the, the, the actual system is a, a, a 10 inch woofer, uh, actively driven uh, with a three channel amp. The two other channels will do the satellites and this is one of the satellites and the system will have eight of these. So they uh, can be distributed round. They're made of aluminium and uh, uh, also means it can go outside. The, the system is then controlled from a, a panel that goes on the wall behind the manager's desk or wherever and uh, that uh, is connected to the main unit which then can be anywhere because in uh, commercial applications they don't want subs on the floor, they want them out of the way even in the ceiling space and then uh, this will allow you to put in an input from an iPod from a computer, we we have a, a flash drive MP3 that will go in there, and this is all controlled by just a little controller that allows them to switch between the inputs, uh, go through the MP3 tracks, put some EQ in, put some volume, some sob in like that. So the whole idea is that when the system's set up and put in. All the, the manager of the establishment has to do is just do this. Goes. Someone comes in, celebration, wants their own music. Everybody's got music on their phones now or iPods. Yeah. They just plug into the plug into the wall plate and they've got their own That's music. Good. Yeah. Okay. In the middle of all this we have the the monitors, the stage monitors. These have been designed for small stages with the TV industry in mind. Uh, You've probably seen TV sets that are, you know, it looks great when you're watching the TV. You go to the studio and they're all standing like this. And there's cables and there's all stuff on the floor. And they, we've, been, we've been asked to produce a monitor where the actual artist can stand right up close to it. So the angle has to be fairly shallow. Uh, they demand top quality because that's all the artist hears. Of course. And also, a low profile means that uh, they're not getting in the way of of camera shots. Away from sight lines. Away from sight lines. And uh, 
but it also it has a, an application in places like churches where again they're short of space yeah. they want a monitor but they don't want a great big monitor so we've uh, that's the what we've de been developing this year and they, they will ship when they're we're shipping now okay uh, we'll just end on this rather interesting installation uh, that uh, you've just participated in in germany in germany in the Nürburgring racetrack in germany uh, our uh, European company, Home, Home Europe, sponsor a Ferrari Cup. They sponsor one of the teams in the Ferrari Cup, which is one of their customers. And um, so we get a, a Ferrari going around with Home on the side, which is rather nice. But the you get to keep that. yeah, well, you know, <laughs> why <I> wish? Yes. <laughs> uh, but the the long term benefit of that is that uh, they then the Nurburgring have chosen us to put loudspeakers in their VIP rooms, their lounges, all the way through. Uh, they, they are now installed there, and also they uh, are looking for having an area which they uh, have a, as a live sound area. A bit like these sort of bashes they have at racetracks where they're attracting the bikers or everybody to come and they're putting on a show. So we're just uh, in the process of delivering a TRS um, a live rig to to them for this area. Fantastic. So it's very interesting. I've not got to drive around the track yet. <laughs> <It's hoping. laughs> but one day. Yeah. Clarkinson, thank you very much. Pleasure.